what's up guys welcome back to the channel sorry for the lack of uploads lately but it's been been pretty hectic for me um been super busy with work um as you know if you guys follow me on instagram the van is sold um just a little update we're welcoming this vehicle to the fleet which is a fifth gen forerunner still have this thing so somebody buy this the van is gone and we still got this thing so if anyone's interested 18k on stocks as is let me know or I can go cheaper and take off some parts which I've been slacking but if anyone wants it right now, let me know. But today we're mostly I just brought this home like yes literally yesterday. And the interior is kind of a little gross. So we're gonna be taking care of that today. But not bad sunroof and you guys know already sr5 and you guys probably thinking why haven't you gotten an off-road but you know after having the van i like the versatility of being able to carry more people so we found one that had a third row and you know, main thing, it's four-wheel drive. The four-wheel drive works. Something that can still take us camping. Because I know if we get rid of this thing, there's no more camping. So, pretty much, this replaces the van and the truck. But four-wheel drive works. Um... We got the third row if we ever need it. Leather seats, which I feel is better than the cloth ones. I always wanted one with a sunroof, so we got one. Everything's in good working order, which is good. I really like this. I never had a car that did this before. Which is cool. Also, one thing I like about the SR5 Premiums is with the third row, um, you can adjust the seat forward to accommodate for the people in the back and you can recline this thing <clears throat> get plenty leg room If you need more space in the back, just pull this thing. Slide this thing forward. And that's how much forward it goes. If you don't have any passengers in the back, you can recline this thing. Take a nap. I mean, and you don't even have to move your seat forward to recline it. This is um, the seat slid all the way back, and <laughs> it's 
pretty cool. It's my first For Honor, but also comes with this. I'm not too sure if the regular For Honors have this armrest. If you don't have a fifth passenger in here, go McDonald's, get Grandma's McFlurry. Throw them inside here. Your cup holders here. Some more on this door over here. Get some more on this door over here. Door over there. Rear AC. I don't think there's separate controls for the rear AC though, but you can definitely feel the AC in this thing. But yeah, I really like how the back can recline though. That's like a big plus. As far as comfortability. Middle seat is not too bad. Still get choke leg room. Some interior kind of things. If you guys never know, because I never know. But yeah, pretty much got this for a super good deal, so I hopped on it. But as always, first step is cleaning up the interior, giving this thing a good detail, which I know I won't finish everything today because this is a lot to handle alone uh. get that ew But for the most part, it's not too bad. See? Put down the seats. Plenty of room for camping in here. Get all of that. This thing needs a good scrub. Plenty room. So first mods that I would like to do is tint for sure as I do with all my vehicles. 5% all around. Uh, we'll see about the windshield. But for sure, give this thing a good detail. So tint for sure is on the list. LEDs for sure, headlights. Rear, reverse, license plate, whatever. These guys, interior lights. The whole shebang. Sorry, save gas. Save gas. This is like the newest car I've ever owned. It is a 5th gen 2016. It is not the greatest because it does have some flaws here and there. Um, paint's not the greatest, but you know. You know who you guys talking to or what? Nah, just kidding. But that's something that we can always fix. You know, main thing, the engine it was running good. Four wheel drive is working good. This thing gets from point A to B. That's all that matters. I feel like, or well, to me, that's like the most important thing. 
because cosmetic stuff you can always fix that and it's not really a rush to take care of like cosmetic stuff compared to like you can still drive it and stuff compared to if it was like something wrong with the engine so that was my main concern main thing it's a reliable vehicle to drive and it gets you from point a to b um another thing on my to-do list is i have trails in the backyard that i was planning or that i was planning to put like 33s or 35s on for this stocks for this thing but since this thing is going um i want to throw it on here i would I do also have um, off-road front and rear bumper valences which I want to put on because I don't know I just like the look of them even though this isn't an off-road but it has an off-road driver mod <laughs> just kidding but I mean Anybody can ride the sand anyways without lockers, I guess. Just got to air down, that's all. I never know about what a track was until I've been doing a lot of research on the 5th Gen 4Runners. But this thing has a track, so maybe that would help if I ever do get stuck. But I know Dane and Omar is going to be there every time we go camping. So just have one tow rope handy and ready. But I mean, as long as you know for driving sand, I guess. Um, I know what you guys are thinking already. A lot of you guys have been commenting and telling me that I should lower this thing. And everything is going to be all good. But, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Um, if I had the choice, I would have, I would lower it down to three inch and maybe consider keeping it, but that's not how it works. Um, so I know you guys guarantee you can tell me that I'm just going to lift this thing and end up in the same situation. <laughs> But no, why not? Honest plans for this thing. Here we go. Honest plans. I really am wanting to keep it stock. At most, pretty much just level out the front with the back. That's all. And just get some good tires. Maybe like some KM3s or so. I don't know. Maybe 32-ish. 33 if I can clear it I don't know but at most probably gonna just have to do some trimming cab mount chop whatever but I really I really 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 like the comfortability of a stock vehicle and this thing just feels real solid and that thing too but that's what we're gonna do and of course do what I can to fix like all the flaws and stuff and go cycle and probably look for a um, foreigner hood with a scoop cycle yeah and get some TRD off-road badges while I'm at it no I'm just kidding maybe but probably not kidding either but anywho this is the first thing that we should tackle cleaning it I told myself that I won't touch anything yet on this thing because I have to still work on this thing but I cannot help it. I really want to clean this thing. At the least. 
So here we go. Floor mats coming out. I do want to brush them, but I don't think I can brush them today. But we're just getting to the basics. Pretty much vacuuming. Look at how nice and black it is underneath the format. That's how it's supposed to be. But at least the format did its job. That's the main thing. give you guys before and afters because I cannot hold the camera and vacuum at the same time but here it is and here's the passenger side all of this is dirt in here So we'll get back to you when we do. So it's the next day. I was cleaning till late last night. And like mentioned, I wasn't able to scrub the floor mats, but pretty much got almost everything in between underneath the seat. Put some dressing on the door panels. And overall, it looks way cleaner on the inside compared to what it was when we first got this thing. So that's good. The outside for sure needs a detail. Probably try to clean the headliner a little bit more. But yeah, just an update. I have ordered an overlay for this piece right here. Um, a new cover for this thing. Because this thing is pretty worn and beat. And a new steering wheel cover. So stay tuned for that. Debating on or ordering the black overlays for this part, this part, and this. Because I noticed on the newer, like the off-roads or whatever, they come black. So that would definitely update the look of this 2016. But, yeah. I think that's pretty much it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Don't forget to like, drop a comment down below. Share vids and subscribe. Peace.